Well, uh, we have this paper, 2015, October, November. Um, paper one, question one, say, question 1.1 1 .1 says solve for x. So we're going to do this question. Okay. Um, it is given that 1.1.1 um, says uh, x squared minus 9x plus 20 equal to zero. Now we need to find the value of x. In other words, a certain value such that when we substitute over here, whatever we have x, we get the answer equal to zero. Now, how can we do that? Because we have a trinomial or a quadratic equation, we can solve this by using factor, by, by factorization or by using the, fact, uh, the quadratic formula or by compressing the square. So now let's solve this by factorization first. Uh, I'm saying that because uh, if, by factorization, if we transform the equation, it's a product of uh, A times B, okay, equal to zero, the trinomial, if we transform this, in the product of A times B. Uh, the property says that if we have like A times B equal to zero, this implies that A equal to zero or B equal to zero. This is a property for multiplication. Now, I want to transform this trinomial into a product of binomial, okay? So uh, to do that, first I look here. What is the coefficient of uh, X squared? Okay, some people say uh, there is no coefficient. Others say mm, it's zero, but none of them are right. Okay, so the coefficients here, well, if we don't see any number in front of the x squared, so meaning the coefficients, which is the leading coefficient here, is one. Okay, so now when you don't see any coefficients, I mean, when you don't see the coefficient in front of the x squared, understand it's one. So in this situation, all we can do is to uh, open brackets over here and then write x plus brackets, open brackets, plus, uh, and then close brackets. Now, what's next to you is you're going to, we're doing question 1.1, you're going to consider the constant term, which is a positive 20. Okay, now I'm going to see a positive 20. And then I am going to list all the factors of 20, preferably in ascending order. So they are like a 1 and 20, or you can do 2 and 10, or 4 and 5. We can continue, but the rest, the following will be a repetition of what we listed here, because it will be like a 10 and 2, 10 and 2 is already here. And then, uh, and then, uh, it's, it's going to be, so it's going to be a repetition of what we have already. Now, in the list of the factors of 20, all these numbers are factors of 20, because 1 times 20 makes 20. 2 times 10 makes 20, 4 times 5 makes 20. Now, in the list of the factors of 20, there must be exactly one couple which will make a sum equal to uh, the coefficient of the middle. In this case, negative 9. So now let's see. Uh, with 1 and 20, let's compare 1 and 20. Can we get a sum? Can we make a sum equal to negative 9 here? Regardless of the combination we can do, uh, over here, this 1 and 20 will never make a sum equal to negative 9. Neither will 2 and 10, but 4 and 5, yes. They will if we do negative 4 and negative 5. Negative 4 minus 5 makes negative 9. And check this out. Negative 4 times negative 5 makes positive 20, meaning uh, we got the right uh, couple. Okay. Then uh, in the brackets here, we can place in negative 4 and negative five, and this is equal to zero, okay? Then uh, we can apply the property that we got here. When a times b equal to zero, this is plus that equal to zero or b equal to zero. So in this situation, we will do uh, x minus four equal to zero or x minus five equal to zero. And then this makes x is equal to four or x is equal to five. So we have this. Okay. Then uh, so we solve this by a factorization. We can solve the same problem by using the quadratic formula. Okay, I'm gonna write here by factorization. Factorization over here. Okay. 
We can solve the sample by using the quadratic formula. If I use the quadratic formula, uh, quadratic formula. Quadratic formula is given by uh, x equal to uh, negative b plus minus square root of uh, b squared minus four times a c all over two a. While the quadratic equation itself is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. Okay, now. We are going to identify the values of A, B, and C. They are the coefficients of, uh, of the variable and the constant term there. Now, if I look at over here, A has the value of one, the coefficient of X squared, and then B will have the value of negative nine, the coefficient of X, and then C have the value of uh, 20. The constant term. So those are the values I'm going to sum in in this formula. Okay. So this will be like then uh, x equal to negative negative nine plus minus square root of uh, b squared. So um, b squared minus four. Uh, a, C, or over to A. Now, uh, we sub the value of B. B was negative nine. And then over here, I'm gonna sub the value of B also. So here, B is, is negative nine. A also is negative nine. And then A is one, and then C is 20, and then A is one. Okay? Then uh, we can uh, place this as it is in the calculator. I'm gonna write here. Then I put in the calculator because we have two solutions here. Okay, I'm gonna write uh, in my calculator here. I write uh, uh, so we have like uh, negative nine plus square root of uh, b squared negative nine squared. Minus four a, which is one. Um, um, okay. And then c, which is a uh, okay one, and then c, which is twenty, and over uh, two times one. So we have, we have a solution. The first solution has a plus, and the other solution will be minus here. So let's work out with the plus first. So if I enter the values of uh, x in the break, um, there we have, we have x is equal to that for the first solution with the positive. So this will be uh, equal, if I press equal, we have negative four. Um, x is equal to. Uh, Um, I think, okay, negative, negative nine uh, plus, okay, yeah, yeah, I think I forgot, I forgot, I forgot the negative here. This, this is a negative short of the line, that's why I got it from here. So let's go back. Um, uh, there's a negative nine there. Okay. Negative over here, correct. Now it's correct, so negative, negative nine. So if I press enter, Voila, we have five, x is equal to five. That's for the first solution. And for the second solution, is one we're going to, instead of a negative positive, I'm gonna, we're going to place negative, okay? So now I'm gonna press this button and then go up there. And then, uh, over here. Mm. Okay, well, if, if you change the, 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 the positive negative here, we're going to get the answer four. Okay, then um, this can also be solved by 
by completing the score if anyone wants to do so. Uh, completing the score is one, uh, let's see, by completing the score. It's because we have uh, x squared minus 9x plus 20 equal to zero. We can solve this by completing the square is when we change the constant term, okay, the c value, okay, we make it c equal to uh, b over two to the power of two. Now, this is applied only when uh, uh, the coefficient of x squared is one, okay? If it's not one, we need to make it one. By defining the call equation by one, uh, by the coefficient, I mean, uh, by the coefficient of x squared, so we have one here. Now, in this situation, um, I'm going to move the 20 over the other side of the equal sign. So we have uh, x squared minus 9x uh, equal to 20. Okay, you notice why you know, I put some space there. Now, over here, um, I need to find the c value. Okay, I know it's uh, b over 2 to the power of 2. So the value of b here is uh, negative nine, so negative nine over two to the power of two. I know this is equal to, um, uh, 81 over four. So over here, I want to add the same, the same value here, negative nine over two to the power of two. So I'm gonna complete the square because this value will complete the square. So I say plus, um, um, plus uh, add here negative nine over two to the power of two, and then plus 81 over four. Then uh, this will do what? Okay, one, once I put this value, it means that I completed this square. I wanted to make this a perfect square, okay? So I can just, uh, I, I will just take the base of this, of, of this term to the power of two and the base of that. And then this all for uh, x minus nine over two to the power of two. Okay, sometimes I get that question. What about what about the nine, negative nine x? Where did you go? Okay, uh, it is somewhere in here. If I expand this uh, this uh, x minus nine over two to the power of two, I will retrieve the whole equation here, including the negative nine x. Okay, so now this will be equal to. Uh, 20 plus 81 over four. Now notice, I prefer to write negative nine over two over here to the power of two there. Okay, it is the same value as 81 over four. So if I add this quantity here, I must add the same quantity on the other side of the equal sign to make the equation uh, the same, okay? Otherwise the equation won't be the same. So I added this quantity here, I add it also there. So the, the, the only equation is out. Now, uh, this will be, then uh, x minus nine over two to the power of two equal to, uh, we can combine here, it's gonna be um, uh, 80 over four plus 81 over four. And then this makes uh, x minus nine over two to the power of two equal to 161 uh, over four. Now, uh, 